Imagine waking up one day to find your peaceful home transformed into a deadly war zone. This is the heartbreaking reality for millions of people who have been forcibly displaced by conflict in my home country of Sudan. I am Omar Naim, head of the global content hub in Africa for UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency. On April 15, 2023, war erupted in Sudan, and now an unimaginable humanitarian crisis is unfolding across the country. As of early 2024, nearly 8 million people have been displaced. UNHCR is on the ground responding as families across Sudan experience mass displacement, ethnic violence, deteriorating health conditions, food insecurity, and widespread sexual and gender-based violence. The conflict began in Sudan's capital Khartoum as a result of an ongoing power struggle between the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces. The conflict has now spread outside of the capital to Darfur and other regions in Sudan. Despite ceasefire attempts and diplomatic efforts, fighting continues relentlessly. More than 6 million people in Sudan are internally displaced. It's now the largest IDP crisis in the world. Before the current conflict, Sudan struggled with conflict and displacement. Starting in 2003, the crisis in Darfur engulfed my country in a violent conflict that killed hundreds of thousands of people and displaced millions from their homes. Many fear the atrocities being committed in Sudan today have a similar dynamic to the events that unfolded over 20 years ago. Women and children who make up the majority of refugees fleeing Sudan are extremely vulnerable to rape and sexual violence while fleeing. Many arrive to remote border areas with nothing and are in dire need of medical care, psychosocial support, food, water, shelter, healthcare, and relief items like blankets, cooking utensils, and soap. Measles, cholera, and other diseases are running rampant throughout the country, and healthcare facilities are under immense pressure due to shortages of staff, life-saving medicine, and critical equipment. Malnutrition rates are surging, with half of the population experiencing acute food insecurity and more than 6 million people just one step away from famine. In addition, extreme weather including floods and droughts are destroying crops and livestock and making it increasingly difficult for families to put food on the table. Before the conflict erupted, Sudan was already hosting 1 million refugees from neighboring countries and had the second highest refugee population in Africa. Now, many are being displaced for a second time and forced to return home or to fragile neighboring countries. By early 2024, more than 1.5 million people were forced to flee Sudan to neighboring countries. Chad has received the largest number of refugees from Sudan with more than 500,000 people seeking refuge in the country, followed by Egypt, South Sudan, Ethiopia, and the Central African Republic. We urgently call on the international community for new funding to respond to this crisis. UNSCR has emergency teams in Sudan and neighboring countries and is working with national authorities and partners to register new arrivals, ensure their immediate needs are met, and to relocate them away from border areas. I'm devastated by the humanitarian crisis taking place in my home country. Families in Sudan have a right to safety, peace, and freedom just like anyone else in the world. Take action today and use your voice to speak up for Sudan.